Aaron Rodgers went on, is it McAfee, the Pat McAfee show? Yes. And uh, he's, a, he's a sports guy. And Aaron Rodgers goes on this show, I guess, or was at least going on weekly and said about Kimmel that Kimmel was among those really hoping the Epstein list did not come out. Kimmel went on his show this past Monday and said the following in response, Sot 4. And it did come out. And of course, my name wasn't on it and isn't on it and won't ever be on. I don't know Jeffrey Epstein. I've never met Jeffrey Epstein. I'm not on a list. I was not on a plane or an island or anything ever. And I suggested that if Aaron wanted to make false and very damaging statements like that, that we should do it in court. So he believes himself to be an extraordinary being. He genuinely thinks that because God gave him the ability to throw a ball, he's smarter than everyone else. We learned during COVID, somehow he knows more about science than scientists. A guy who went to community college, then got into Cal on a football scholarship and didn't graduate, someone who never spent a minute studying the human body, is an expert in the field of immunology. Aaron got two A's on his report card. They were both in the word Aaron. And when I do get something wrong, which happens on rare occasions. You know what I do? I apologize for it, which is what Aaron Rodgers should do, which is what a decent person would do, but I bet he won't. Okay, here's the last piece of sound. Aaron Rodgers then goes back on the McAfee show on Tuesday, the night after that, and responded as follows, Saw five. In the end, to sum this up, listen, I still haven't popped a bottle because there hasn't been any list that's come out. Um, and... I'm glad that, that Jimmy uh, is not on the list. I really am. And and uh, I don't think uh, he's the P word. Um, and, you know, I think it's impressive that, that a man who went to uh, Arizona State and has 10 uh, joke writers can read off a prompter. So, you know, my education at JUCO and my three semesters at Cal that I'm very proud of uh, has worked out for me, and I'm glad to see it's worked out for him as well. So I wish him the best. Again, I, I don't give a shit what he says about me. Um, but as long as he understands what I actually said and uh, that I'm not accusing him of uh, being uh, being on a list, then I'm all for moving forward. What, what's, what's happening here? Well, Jimmy Kimmel has move the goalpost and move the conversation to a place that's dishonest. If you watch Aaron Rodgers' full explanation and if you understand the background, he was not the joke that he told on the uh, Pat McAfee show originally. It wasn't about uh, Jimmy Kimmel being a pedophile. It was about Jimmy Kimmel rooting for and hoping the Epstein list never came out and that there's a backstory that that Jimmy Kimmel and Aaron Rodgers or Kimmel had cracked some jokes about Aaron Rodgers even having an interest in the Epstein list. Because let's say six, seven months ago, maybe even as long ago as a year ago, Aaron Rodgers speculated that, hey, the Epstein list is going to come out and blah, blah, blah. And Jimmy Kimmel at that time started cracking jokes about Aaron Rodgers being a tinfoil hat guy, about this Epstein list. And so Rodgers' original comment or joke that started this latest round of a feud was about, yeah, Jimmy, he, he was basically saying, I told you the Epstein list was going to come out. And, and you know, Jimmy Kimmel was hoping that it didn't. Jimmy Kimmel then goes and does a monologue that says, Oh, he's, he's saying that I was going to be on the Epstein list. He knows that's untrue, but he knows if he can get everyone talking about that and he can play the victim, then he can put some pressure on ESPN and Aaron Rodgers. Because, again, Kimmel, ABC, uh, ESPN, they're both owned by Disney. They're all in the same family. And Jimmy Kimmel's sitting there saying, why is some NFL player – on a Disney platform taking shots at me. Well, I got a way to shut him up. I got a way to force ESPN's hand. I'll pretend like the guy called me a pedophile. And so the next thing you know, Pat McAfee, the next day announces Aaron Rodgers isn't going to be on the show anymore. And uh, he puts out a statement saying that it's I, I made this decision and I don't want to be in these controversies or whatever. And, and then Pat McAfee took so much heat for making that announcement that yesterday 
<laughs> he had Aaron Rodgers on the I show saw. just to talk sports. The day after he said he's never coming back, yeah. it was ridiculous. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make a resolution that's easy to keep and delivers immediately on its promise. With Genucel Skincare, you can turn back the clock and look 5, 10, even 15 years younger. And right now, Genucel Skincare is celebrating 2024 with its New Year's sales event. Save over 70% off all your Genucel must-haves in their most popular package. Say goodbye. Those fine lines, forehead wrinkles, sagging jawlines, dark marks, skin redness, even under eye bags, and leave them behind in 2023. For women and men, safe for all skin types and perfect for skin of any age. Plus, with its immediate effects product, Genucel promises results guaranteed or 100% of your money back. For a limited time, Genucel's top selling hyaluronic acid serum is included free in every most popular package. Maximum skin hydration for a more youthful appearance. Go to genucel.com slash MK60 and enter MK60 at checkout for extra savings. Every order upgraded to free shipping. Don't wait. Genucel.com slash MK60. G-E-N-U-C-E-L dot com slash MK60. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.